gastrulation gastrulation is a fundamental phase of animal embryogenesis during which germ layers are specified rearranged and shaped into a body plan with organ rudiments after the formation of uh, blasto blastula which is formed by the process of blastulation you have the phase of rearrangement of these blastoderms into gastrula and the process is known as gastrulation blastula blastula you know the embryo embryo cleaves into 32 to 64 cell stage and this stage you have microblastomeres and macroblastomeres formed where you have a central blastocele these micro blastomeres and macroblastomeres or the blastomeres formed with the blastocele rearrange themselves and this rearrangement is known as morphogenetic movements the rearrangement of these blastoderm to form a three germ three or two germ layer is known as gastrulation the blastula the blastula formed it has blastoderms and these blastoderms rearrange themselves and the process of rearrangement is known as morphogenetic movements and the morphogenetic movements of these blastoderm take place where they rearrange into germ layers and this process is known as gastrulation and the formed phase is known as the embryo is known as gastrula gastrula uh, formed by the process of gastrulation is a complex series of cell movements that rearranges cells giving them new neighbors these rearrangements puts cells in a new environment with the potential to receive new signals results in the formation of three germ layers that will form most of the subsequent embryo the three germ layers ectoderm endoderm and mesoderms the blastomeres they the blastomeres they rearrange themselves into ectodermal endodermal and mesodermal cell the morphogenetic movements the morphogenetic movement is the characteristic feature of gastrulation and you need to learn these morphogenetic movements usually it comes as essay and it's a sure question where you need to write the either it could come as morphogenetic movements of embryo or it could come as gastrulation this is one of the important portions of embryology it is rearrangement a blastoderm is a, a embryo embryo is divided into numerous micromeres or macromeres micromeres the cells near the animal pole they divide at a faster rate they divide at a faster rate because the yolk content near the animal pole will be less whereas within the vegetal pole the yolk content is more so the cells near the uh, vegetal pole they are larger in size and they are known as macromeres or macroblastomeres and the cells near the animal pole they are smaller in size because they contain less yolk and they divide at a faster pace and they are known as micromeres or microblastomeres this blastodermal layer now rearranges this blastodermal layer now rearranges uh, displacing the blasto seal so that rearrangement that rearrangement takes takes place by movement of these cells the movement they of the cells they are by individual cell movement or by groups or by layers so if it is individual cell movement then two process takes place one is migration and the other one is ingression migration movement of individual cells over other cells or matrix ingression movement of individual cells or small groups from an epithelium into cavity cavity will be there so they ingression is just the movement of individual cells each cell is destined to become a particular portion of the embryo so based on that 
the movement takes place two types of individual cell movements are seen migration as well as ingression if uh, it is group of cells moving together then we call it by different names the first one is invagination local inward buckling or pushing of an epithelium then comes involution inward movement of a cell layer around a point or edge usually it moves in through the blastopore epiboly epiboly spread the blastomeres uh, uh, at the animal pole they are smaller in size and they divide at a faster pace so what happens once movement takes place at a division takes place at a faster pace they spread they spread over this uh, macromeres so spread of an outside cell layer to envelop a yolk mass or deeper layer that process is known as epiboly delamination it is splitting one cell sheet into two or more parallel sheets and convergent extension elongation of a cell layer in one dimension with shortening in another now we'll see uh, how each takes place in first one is invagination a small depression a small depression is formed in this area and which is occupied by the gray crescent fate map we have seen gray crescent area is there and this gray crescent area which is destined to become the blastopore it is destined to become the blastopore so here you have the blastodermal layer and within you have the blastocele so a small depression is formed in the region occupied by the gray crescent and this depression starts growing inward and this forms the archentron or gastroseal or secondary body cavity displacing the blastoseal and this opening of the gastroseal is called gastropole it is known as gastropole usually we don't call it as gastroseal though it is known as we call it by the term archentron it is known by the term archentron and the opening is known as gastropole as the gastroseal increases in size the blastoseal gets reduced ultimately only a slit like semicircular cavity indicates the remnants of the blastoseal the blastopore meanwhile becomes expanded and becomes ring shaped the gastropore or the blastopore which is formed that becomes expanded and becomes ring shaped you know uh, we have to differentiate between blastula and gastrula and usually blastula stage you have a blasto seal plus blastodermal cells whereas gastrula gastrula you have two cavities one is blasto seal which might be slit like and then you have a gastro seal or archentron which is bigger so if you have two cavities then that is gastrula stage if you have only one cavity that is a blastula next comes epiboly i told you the animal pole the cells they divide at a faster pace because your content is less in the late blastula the anterior half consists of micromeres which constitute the ectoderm while the posterior megameres or the mega blastomeres they form the endodermal cells where yolk is present those cells becomes the endoderm and the small fast dividing cells they become the ectoderm so the germ ring forms the mesoderm so you have a hypoblast this is epiblast those are ectodermal cells epiblast is there hypoblast is there then an enveloping layer will be there and these are non involuting cells yolk syncytial layer yolk granules that are found now what happens is this epiblast they start moving in and this movement 
this inward movement covering the endoderm they start moving down they start to move down and inward covering this whole uh, embryo and that process is known as epiboly during epiboly the ectoderm overgrows backwards on the endoderm ultimately the entire embryo is covered by the ectoderm except for the small area called the yolk plug uh, that is left in such a way that inward movement takes place at that point the pigmented micromeres grow over the megameres the reason for overgrowth is the rapid rate of division of micromeres involution during this process the cells which have grown backward during epiboly now they start rolling inside at the margin of the blastopore blastopore they don't grow over the blastopore we told i told you that they don't grow in inside into the blast covering the blastopore they leave the blastopore and they surround the endoderm from that blastopore the inward movement the inward movement is by rolling and the endoderm is the first to roll inside whatever endoderm is present there that starts to rearrange themselves and the cells of the notochord and mesoderm which were formed outside uh, the uh, which were present near the ectodermal layer they also migrate over the lip of the blastopore <clears throat> and become internal and arrange themselves on the roof sides and floor of the arc and tron so that inward movement or rolling of cell is known as involution whereby notochord mesoderm mesodermal cells as well as endodermal cells move inside the uh, arc and tron so that process is known as involution the notochord cells are found on the roof along the midline here uh, you can find these cells are the actually these are the mesodermal cells and these are the endodermal cells the endodermal cells they start to roll in once they start to move in uh, this is how archendron is formed when they start to move in this is uh, endodermal layer and this is mesodermal layer the endoderm forms the anterior the lateral as well as the ventral wall of the archendron whereas mesoderm mesodermal cells form the wings of extension in the archendron and here this is archendron the archendron is getting displaced in once it is formed uh, the its size also reduces because cells are dividing at a faster pace and they um, push this archendron forming this archendron into somewhat slit like area convergence convergence means the movement of cells towards a particular point the presumptive cells of the notochord and mesoderm located on the surface of the blastula move towards the blastopore of primitive streak wherever the notochord and cells as mesodermal cells are present uh, in the epithelial layer or the ectodermal layer near the ectodermal layer they start to move in and they are moving to a single point which is the blastopore that's the entrance to which it could enter into the embryo so that movement towards a single point which is blastopore uh, or primitive streak which you will learn in chick embryo if cells move to a particular point then that is known as convergence infiltration this involves detachment of individual cells or groups of cells from the surface of the blastula and they falling into the blastocele they are infiltering or from the main layer they are detaching themselves as individual cells or layers and they form a layer uh, or rearrange themselves as a single layer within the blastocele 
that process is known as infiltration because they are filtering into the blastocele to form a new layer divergence so if uh, convergence is moving of cells into a single point from that point when they migrate to different uh, points uh, then that is known as divergence the migration of involuted cells from the blastopore or primitive streak in divergence a cell move in different directions from a single point the involuted cells of notochord and mesoderm migrate and diverge from the blastopore and primitive streak to their future positions within the developing embryo and that process is known as divergence ingression ingression involves movement of individual or group of cells from the external layer of blastula into the blastocele it is characterized into two types unipolar and multipolar unipolar in which individual cells migrate inwards at one point of a blastoderm that is uh, where you you find it in porifera and cylindrata whereas multipolar ingression that is found in which individual cells migrate inwards from all points of the blastocele from all points of the blastocele they start to migrate inwards and this takes place within echidna delamination the word delamination means mass separation of groups of cells from other cell groups it's either splitting of cells or detaching splitting um, that uh, cells get when it starts to grow at a faster rate one layer gets detached one layer gets detached or split that process is known as delamination the separation of endodermal mesodermal and notochordal cells from each other in teleost fish is a good example for delamination the endoderm formation in birds takes place by delamination the morphogenetic movements actually the morphogenetic movements uh, result in germ layers and germ layer where the ectoderm forms the outer layer the endoderm forms the inner layer and the mesoderm that gets rearranged the coda mesoderm coda mesoderm rearranges themselves on the roof of the archentron a germ layer is a group of cells in an embryo that interact with each other as the embryo develops and contribute to the formation of all organs and tissues all animals except sponges form two or three germ layers the germ layers develop early in embryonic life through the process of gastrulation and during gastrulation a hollow cluster of cells called a blastula it reorganizes into two primary germ layers an inner layer called endoderm and an outer layer called ectoderm is formed diploblastic organisms have only the two primary germ layers these organisms characteristic, characteristically have multiple symmetrical body axes that is radial symmetry as is true of jellyfish sea anemones and the rest of the phylum cnidaria and uh, all other animals are triploblastic as endoderm and ectoderm interact to produce a third germ layer a third germ layer is formed together the three germ layers will give rise to every organ in the body from skin and hair to the digestive so these are the derivatives of the three germ layers during development ectoderm you have the nervous tissue epidermis of the skin as well as sensory organs they originate from ectodermal cells or ectoderm germ layer endoderm it gives a uh, rise to gut tract lining digestive glands respiratory tract lining whereas mesoderm that forms connective tissue circulatory system bones tendons ligaments dermis of the skin excretory structures reproductive structures as well as muscles so we will see in detail how it is formed and uh, how um, the nervous tissue the eye move i formation all these 
takes place in frog as well as chick and mammals so uh, now from here onwards this is a cleavage uh, blastula as well as gastrulation that is common for all from gastral onwards the changes takes place it is different for uh, different groups so now we will see how gastrulation how cleavage takes place there is difference in cleavage i told you holoblastic is there uh, equal holoblastic equal is there holoblastic unequal is there so well, based on the organism there is difference in cleavage blastulation as well as gastrulation but whatever we have learned till now the cleavage blastulation and gastrulation that's a common feature that occurs for each organism from here onwards it is different so now i'll be dealing with how these changes of cleavages blastulation and gastrulation takes place in individual groups